We're here with Lisa Song Sutton, an entrepreneur, business writer, and former Miss Nevada United States 2014. Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. And when you were running for Miss Nevada while you're on stage, deep inside, why did you really want that title? Of course you wanted it, but what was your reason for yeah. that? Yeah, so my main motivation in competing was that I really wanted to find some way to really ingratiate myself in the community. Um, I have moved to Las Vegas here in 2010, and I just love Nevada. I love Las Vegas. I love living here, and I'm so proud to be a Las Vegas local. And um, so I wanted to find a way to really just engage in the community, and I thought this would be a fantastic platform to do it. And you definitely are engaging in the community. <laughs> I've been following you on Instagram since last year, and it seems like you've been all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. It's been so fun. Yeah, so what are you most passionate about? Um, well, for me, it's just, um, you know, growing businesses and giving back to the community. Um, I was so lucky to, to be able to do that through the Miss United States organization. And my time as Miss Nevada United States um, went all the way through April of this year, and we just crowned the new Miss Nevada United States, uh, Amanda Gibson, April of this year, and she's wonderful. Um, so I'm so grateful for that time that I had because I feel like it really catapulted me in just getting out there, kind of feet on the ground, grassroots, and being able to engage in the community. Do you feel like your career has taken off since the pageant, or has it always been so fast-paced? Absolutely, just in a different way. Um, so prior to the pageant, I was just very, very focused on business and growing uh, my first company, which is, which is Sin City Cupcakes. Um, and so through that time, even though uh, with the pageant, obviously it physically took me away from my partners and, and my businesses because I was out going to elementary schools and reading to kids or I was volunteering with an organization. Um, that time actually helped me grow the businesses, even though I physically wasn't present, just because when I was out and about, people would ask me, hey, what else do you do besides Smith Nevada? And that was my opportunity to tell them about all the great things we were doing in our companies. In addition to Sin City Cupcakes, you also have Elite Homes US yes. and Liquid and Lace. Correct. So we have cupcakes, bathing suits, <laughs> real estate. Yes. So it sounds kind of disjointed when you just kind of list them off that way. But at the end of the day, if you kind of scale up, I'm selling a product. So whether that's alcohol infused cupcakes, high end condos, or swimwear, um, I'm selling a product and, and we're all engaging in some sort of activity that involves people, face to face communication with others. So what is something that is a recurring theme with all the businesses that the community really likes? Well, with each of our companies, we think it's really important to, to give back to the community and kind of give where you live. And so we try to institute that institute that with everything that we do. With Sin City Cupcakes, we do a lot of charitable donations um, for different organizations that are around town. Um, and with Elite Homes and with Liquid and Lace, we try to do some sort of partnerships where it's appropriate for different types of events they may have going on. Um, and even with the swimwear, what's cool too is we uh, combined with the Fundamental Elements Foundation, uh, which is a charitable organization here in Nevada, and for every swimsuit that we sell, we donate a basic set of bra and underwear to domestic violence shelters. That's great. So, yeah, so it's a fun way to give back. And you're working on a new business venture called Brand Bridge, yes. incorporating social media into that. What is Correct. important to you for that business? Well, I'm so excited about Brand Bridge. Um, we're hopefully launching in about 60 days. Uh, the static site is almost done, and the app is currently under development now. I'm teaming up with a dear friend and a partner of mine out of Texas, and um, it basically pairs small and medium-sized businesses with local and regional social media influencers. So, um, for example, if you own a hair salon in Phoenix, um, you may or may not find it um, appropriate for you to spend your marketing dollars for a fashionista in New York with two million followers all based in the Northeast to do a post for you because you may not get customers in the door. Um, but perhaps a local or regional influencer who's based in Phoenix that has maybe 100,000 followers all based in the Phoenix area or maybe Southern California, that means more to you as a local business owner to spend your hard-earned marketing dollars to someone that is going to generate actual people coming into the door in your business. All right, so I'm sure a lot of people could take advantage of that. And uh, what keeps you motivated and what would you, what advice would you give to the community to get out there as well and do the same thing? Yes, um, don't be scared. I, I feel like there's a lot of times when um, you hear of a lot of different obstacles that people will face when they're thinking about branching out of their own or starting a company. Um, I worked full-time in a law firm for the first 
year and a half that Sin City Cupcakes was going. So don't think that you have to stop whatever it is that you're doing to completely shift gears and start something new. As long as you team up with the right partners and be able to work together, there's definitely a way to, to move forward and, and have fun and hopefully learn and grow and make some money. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. We're definitely keep an, gonna keep an eye on everything that you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.